Good to see you. Think I'm kind of going stir crazy up here. up ahead on the right. If we want their attention, we should start early. Just gotta make sure they can't ignore us. Back here. 
here, that's for sure. Away now, we did it. What the hell are we stumbled on here? Nothing good. We found one of the task force trying to swim out of here. He's saying Lieutenant Mercer's still on site. Where? These cops ain't gonna catch him in that thing. Maybe not, but we can go.
perfect timing. I need to get out of here fast. You? Taurus? Ava? If they take me in, things could go real bad. For both of us. I agree. Today, police ended their search for the former head of the high-speed task force, Frank Mercer. A statement confirmed while a body has yet to be recovered, the former officer is believed to be dead. It's more than a week ago that the disgraced lieutenant attempted to escape police custody with a fleet of stolen high-performance vehicles and almost succeeded were it not for the actions of a notorious but as yet unnamed street racer who aided in the recovery of the cars, which a subsequent investigation revealed had been illegally impounded in a targeted operation spanning several months. Now following the scandal, the task force has been swift to address public concerns and appoint a new officer in charge. They made this statement earlier today. Thank you. For too long, Frank Mercer has used this department for his own benefit, but not anymore. It's time those resources were put back to their proper use, to end street racing. Under Frank Mercer's watch, this crime was allowed to flourish. Under mine, it will end. This. This is what you're giving me? It's a solid vehicle. I'm not driving this. After what happened to your last couple cars, you should be grateful. She's perfect for someone just starting out. Luca, I'm in the league. If I show up in this thing, they're gonna laugh me off the road. Well, you might be big time now. She'll always be my little league. Mira, venga pa' acá. Come tranquila, no. Goodbye. And then, oh, my ribs! Sorry! Hey, getting those cars back from Mercer bought you a lot of goodwill in this town. But, still gonna need all the help you can get. Does that mean you're joining our crew? I was thinking about hitting the track. You know, maybe dusting off some of my old moves. Nice. You wanna go for a spin? Let's go. Hey, so you two look out for each other. People from all across the state wanna race you now. Plenty of other people who are out to stop you. Tougher than ever. So if you're gonna get into trouble, don't get caught. dropped off a little thank you for helping get the cars back. Can't wait to see a real racer driving that classic again.
So when are you gonna get your own place? Don't listen to him. All right, new wheels. Man, you're getting some baller style now.
Control cards dispatched. Final 
Got a few new parts for you. Wish I could sneak you some more, but that's the kind of shit that gets...
Not much, just chilling. I just beat Need for Speed today. I got it yesterday. I beat it today. That's how you grind. <laughs> now I already got the uh, 911. You know the the one from Payback. I got that one. You know, I'm working on that right now, so I'm just doing races. Sounds good. Yeah. On 2015, cuz I have nothing else better to do. <laughs> you know, Early it's funny, I don't have I don't have heat yet, but I'm running 2015 because I'm just no like getting out there, trying to make sure I still have a feel and still being able to tune cars and all that good shit. Yeah. So that's what I want. <clears throat> I've been beating motherfuckers in the hurricane on a goddamn day. <laughs> this is too easy, bro. This is fucking easy. The fucking. I beat someone yesterday in the fucking Type R. That was fucking nice. Move. Get your little boy down my way. But other than that, and your boy been chilling. <laughs> Fuck. It's funny, I hadn't really been in like a mood to really game, but I'm like. Yeah. I don't know. I played Seeds not so long ago, and then I fucking lost a match on that shit. And that shit pissed me off, so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go drive. So I switched the settings between the teams. Switch, switched my gears with L1 and R1. So I was messing around on it for a little bit. And mm -hmm. now I'm just like chilling. I had got back on this account because I was playing on my um, my main account. So. But yeah, he. Is something else. I am telling you, he is something else. You heard what? If you're still interested in that suspension, I said, Why you say that? It starts way it's just, I'll tell you where. It's like it's a absolutely awesome game. Like without a doubt. In my opinion, probably one of the best games or need for speed games. In my opinion at least. But it's just certain things that that make it annoying basically. Like what? It's like if you were to like raise people and stuff, it's like it's either you will know one that wants to race with you, or there's that always that one person that just wants to destroy you and then run you off the road and that kind of stuff. Or at least with me, that's what that's what's happening with me. Have you won? Have you ran with any of the team members yet? No. I've been trying to get to some one of them to, uh, or some, at least one of them to race with me, but no one's trying to race. Bro, there's so much shit going on right now. <laughs> with everybody on property, assuming that's why you can't get in touch with anyone. Wait, so what's happening? Yeah. Well. Particularly because I know that he stays on the board. This is a kid who's raised his whole life. <laughs> and nothing. Like I said, he's busy. He never stopped his old man. I feel that he obviously is.
<laughs> I mean, it's like, what, forty, thirty dollars right now if you want to download it. No, I'm not going to do that because I have it. <laughs> it's somewhere. I'll tell you that. It's in one of these fucking boxes there. But I got to wait. So, you know, I can see what happens with them all the time. Me and Pops be running for the first time ever, bro. <laughs> 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 well, I just want to tell you right now, you could beat he in one city. I promise you you can. It's like the storyline is Yeah, I heard the storyline is short as fuck. It's short. And it's easy to fucking read so it's just like that's how yeah. that's why I've been playing twenty fifteen or something. This is the place. Yeah. All you really have to do is have patience and rip up. If you can rip up quickly then you can beat it the game by like at least in a good three or four hours. Cause this is my second time beating the game. Cause I beat the game on my brother's account. And then he got my own copy, me my own copy, so I just beat it today, because he gave me it yesterday, so I just beat it today. to beat the game. One car. You could get it at the beginning and I use that the entire time to beat the game. Guess what it was. It was a pretty popular off-road car in Payback. It was, it was a pretty po it was a it was a pretty popular off road car in payback. That probably gave it away. The Mustang. Yep. Yeah, it's funny. I'm really not interested in driving that car, bro. I mean, it's pretty decent. If you can upgrade it and stuff, it's pretty decent. I'm gonna get my hand in the fucking Type R, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm the first car, for whatever reason, I'm just so interested in that car. <laughs> I don't know, mm -hmm. it's weird. But I'm interested in driving that car. Mm -hmm. But then I'm also in the first car again. The Huracan again. Which one? Because they added the Purple Monte. They they have the regular haircut and the purple monte. Well, I'll probably drive them both. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the fucking haircut. The haircut. Maybe. Do you know so crazy? I haven't heard anything about the haircut being a good drift car. Like I don't know if it is or if it's a bad drift car. Um, and listen, I hope it's fucking shit. Cause in reality, that car is not a drift car. It's a fucking race car. That That's is what true. I'm gonna use it for, race. I don't care about drift. I don't care about off-road. Strictly focusing on the race. 
do a yeah. fuck about drill. I don't care. I don't care enough to even want to attempt on working on a drill car. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about working on a fucking off road car. I just wanna race. That's it. That's the only yeah. thing I'm focused on. Because the moment I get to the end, I don't even fucking do it. Yeah. Race. All there you go. Bring it home, kid. Come on. Yeah, it's really all you need is a race Hello? car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. is thoroughly tested and this new suspension kit has found a good home now keep an eye on yourself there's some high class races coming up i'll be in touch when you're ready
suspects ride from Force 911. I'm chasing progress. I want this driver taken out. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> yeah. Like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't even like normally give a fuck about it. I'm, I'm not gonna give a fuck about it. So hopefully when they add speed list, you know, you get the opportunity to you know, get the speed list. You can choose between either one of the three, or you could do all three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that'd be that'd be cool. You know like I mean? in 2015. No, no fucking collision. No collision. You can drive through cars and shit. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Since I don't know when that's gonna be happening, I gotta hurry up and get my garage ready. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, I can get you a nice little three to four car lineups. So you can switch it up whenever you would like to do that. And then, you know, all the money you earn, you can uh, fucking do whatever the fuck you want to do with it. I know everything I touch in this game is gonna be really fast. I'm gonna be really good in it. Yeah. So. Are you gonna be engine swapping stuff? Uh, it depends on the car in particular. I know I'm gonna have to for the Type R though. I'm gonna have to engine swap it. I think the Huracans, I don't think you can engine swap those. It's in reality, I would wanna do that shit anyway. And I watched this one dude, he plays a Need for Speed, he, he had a bottom Miata, and he put a, a Lamborghini Aventador engine in it, and that thing was fast. It probably is, but <coughs> it just depends on, uh, just because you got a car maxed out doesn't mean you can't drive it. There's true. And you gotta get the feels, my guy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty confident. I already, I'm pretty confident in what I'm gonna, what I'm planning on driving. And I don't know if I should do manual or stick to automatic. I'm driving manual. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already, I'm too, I'm too far deep into it, bro, to not do it. Yeah, because I think so I'm kind of rusty on it. Because I gave up on payback, and that was really it. Bro, I've been driving in manual since 2015, bro. I, I, I started in payback. Because I didn't know anything about driving in manual in uh, 2015. 2015, I fucking was driving fucking manual, payback, I drove manual, and in heat, I'm gonna drive in manual too, it's not gonna stop me though, <laughs> I'm gonna keep driving a fucking manual, bro, without question, 
In 2015, that's when I was like really introduced to like the Need for Speed community. Like, that's when I really started figuring out about Need for Speed, basically. Then after 2015, then I started playing it more. Payback came out. Then joined the team, Payback. Now we're at Heat. Yeah, man. It's gonna get like a. Look at it this way. It's an early start for you to you know, get comfortable with the game, learn the tracks, get comfortable with the cars you're driving, tuning all your cars to you, to your particular your your liking or whatever, yeah. and then everything else. You know, I would say it would just fall into place. Yeah. So, I think that it's like a, really all time, bro, all time, so like, you know, technically, speaking, y'all are technically a month ahead of me, as far as like, the game itself or whatever. Yeah. I also know that, you know, it's gonna be like it's gonna be very uh it's gonna be very interesting to see how shit plays out. Because now we have like so much opportunity to to fucking do this shit, like because yeah. now we have an early standpoint, you know, we have the people that we have on the team currently that I feel like everybody here can, like everybody here is an asset to what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah. So as long as we stick to what we're all trying to accomplish, you know, we'll be alright. Yeah. That's an individual goal, team goal, it doesn't matter. We can treat heat like it's uh like it's like treated. You know, we're not like now. You know, you being a part of this team, you're not you're not new playing the game for you know, a decent amount of time. You've been a part of the history thing. So like, of course, there's probably like a lot of different people you may not necessarily know, but. You need to, uh, you being a part of the team is only going to get you the notoriety that you're wanting to get. You know, what, rather that's you, know, you being like a top tier driver over here or suspect. just a guy that you know, does whatever you want to particularly do. Like, no matter what it is, you're going to have a, you have a nice place for that here. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go anywhere. Anything yeah. you want done, get done here. Okay. You want to you wanna be a part of the battle scene, you want to take a little action with that, you'll be a part of that. You want to um, have a rap, I rap idea out there, you can do that. You want to do videos, you can do that. Like, everybody on the team has an opportunity to put themselves out there as far as if you want, if you want to get a particular notoriety. Me, I just have a different thought process. I have a different way of doing things. So, like, for me, the only thing I take serious is with this team is making sure we all, you know, stay connected and we're all prepared for battles. You know what I'm yeah. Well, that's the only thing I focus on. Everything else, Brody and the rest of y'all can handle that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's gonna be all up to you guys. But for the most part, it's chill. I shouldn't have too many. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have too many issues now. The game's been out for a month and change now. Yeah. Whatever you're like interested in doing or finding out, you definitely need. So you're, so you're ready for, uh, so you're ready to battle. 
that's all I'm gonna be focused on. Like the moment I get the particular cars I want done, done, I'm gonna be ready to race, motherfuckers. Yeah. Like rather that's rather the list is being made or not, rather speed list or the game or not, I'm gonna wanna fucking race. Yeah. And of course I can race with you guys all fucking day, but the moment speed list is a go, bro, I'm in list all day. <laughs> So like now it's like we're basically playing the waiting game for that. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. is cool. You know what I mean? I wish they would start implementing that into the game already. Yeah, I think it, it, how it's cool that you can make your own crew and stuff in this game. Yeah, I think that's interesting too, but I don't really give a fuck about any of that. <laughs> I, I don't. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. Motherfuckers gonna know who I am anyway in a speed list because you gonna see my fucking babe. I'm obviously part of something. Yeah. Yeah, do is click my profile and find out yourself. <laughs> it's like, don't F me. I'm part of the CRU. No, don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Just know that, you know, depending on which button you're trying to press, it's gonna give you the outcome. Yeah. Push the wrong button, you can get you can get a different outcome from. It. Push the right button, you might get you might get something out of it. You never know. Yeah. But I'm also not a big fan of bullshit. Don't tolerate bullshit. Ever. But I'm a very genuine person. Yeah. Things I tell all y'all comes from a genuine place. I never tell y'all things just because I want you to do it. Tell you these things so you can be aware of what's next to come. Because eventually there's going to come a time where I may not necessarily be around. Or I might you know, take my little break or something. Or I might go on vacation or something. Yeah. And so I'm away from the game for whatever reason. Then y'all do y'all thing. That's another thing I'm trying to get one of our members to know. Cause I want y'all like, rather I'm here or not. You know, like, uh, if I'm even if I'm not here, you guys can fucking go race motherfuckers. I ever think that you can. If you feel comfortable enough saying yo, I want to be part of a battle and I'm ready to race, then let's believe I will throw your ass to the wolves. If you're that ready to race. Yeah. Because all it's gonna, all it's doing is testing you. It's testing your your skill, and it's also testing your chemistry with the other people on the team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's all gonna come into play. It's all gonna matter when you're racing for other people. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know I mean, you're gonna have to. Everything, like every little thing, matters. You know I mean? Car matters. Tracks matter too, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean, all that shit's gonna matter. Like, you can't go into a battle not knowing what the fuck you're doing. Like, you gotta understand it. I mean, rather you're choosing races or they're choosing races, you gotta be, you gotta be a step ahead. It's playing, you gotta play chess. You can't play checkers. You gotta play chess. You know, yeah. So it's just like being a step ahead. <clears throat> being a step ahead and knowing your next play, your next move, you know, that all, that all matters, and it matters in this shit, man, because I can tell you right now, bro, the moment I, the moment I get heat, and I'm on, y'all so chopping it with us, man, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm focused on nothing but race vehicles. Yeah, we will be right there my with particular, you. My particular liking. I'm not even trying to hear anything else. <laughs> Yo, Lou, you gotta get a drift car. No, I don't. Because I'm not doing it. Yo, can you make... No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like, you literally... If it's not race-related, if it's not race-related, I'm not touching this shit, bro. Yeah. I have no reason to. Like, I have no want to want to do that type of shit, bro. I don't care. <laughs> like... 
then in the story, there's only one off-road race, so you have to do that's it. That's, yeah, yeah, and then that's just stupid as fuck. <laughs> yeah, there's no so drift, there's no there. none of that. That's that's right up my fucking alley. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go run that shit the fuck out the way. Finish that shit in no time. And then after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna be fucking Gucci, bro, because I'm not gonna fucking give a fuck. And I'm gonna knock that shit the fuck out the way. And I'm gonna be focused on getting all my cars comfortable, ready to go, and start fucking doing damage so it's funny cause I already tech I technically have a battle for a team already for I don't even know about that shit mm -hmm. yeah I got hit up uh Lucky from XCO hit me up a few days ago I was like hey uh my team's a little bored we wanna do a little friendly 4 on 4 with you guys if I look for it uh, about that, I, <laughs> that would be super dope. But I don't have the but, game. <laughs> um, but my team isn't ready right now. Everybody's kind of waiting on me and a, another member to make our return to the game and stuff like that. But one, two, whoa! whoa. Best believe the moment I'm, I'm the moment I'm ready to battle, bro. I'm fucking gotta go battle, bro. I'm gonna be, fuck, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready to run. Yeah, cause sure. one thing I love about this team is that when you're ready, everyone else is ready, basically. That's yeah, one thing I love about I'm this team. Like, I'm like the fucking, like, it's just so <laughs> weird, man. It's weird, but it's like a good thing, I guess, too, because, yeah. you know, with, like, here's my thing, right? Like, if I'm a member of a team, I don't give a fuck who the leader is. I'm ready to run. if I'm ready to run, I'm ready to run. So I'm hit I'm hitting up motherfuckers like, yo, let's go let's go fucking run or something. Like, let's go do some shit. Like I'm already ready. I got my like I'm already locked into that type of shit. But like yeah. everybody else is different. You know what I'm saying? Brody's like, nah bro, I'm not really fucking with that. Uh Prophet's like, man, nah bro, until you come and we get you right, nah, I, we ain't really interested now. I was like, man, but I don't even like that's what that's what so that's what kind of you know, makes everybody different, and that's why I I lean on a lot of the people on this team because of those particular reasons. But you know, yeah, it's all good. Like you know, it's it's dope though, cause it's like I'm like I guess y'all look at like certain members on this team look at me as like the missing piece right now. Like they don't <laughs> want to do shit until I'm around and ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is cool, you know what I'm saying? It's a cool aspect as far as like, you know, shit. Yeah, I know I'm ready, but shit. If my if my founder, if my right hand ain't here, there's no point in me making no moves, and I I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that's a cool thing. Yeah. But I also think it's a bad thing because like shit. If you, if it's four people on this team that's ready to go, fucking go, go run. Y'all need me. Y'all need me to be here, man. Go fucking run. I'll be the first to tell y'all, bro, man, hey, you ready to go, man, go fuck your brother, man, because I'm not going to stop y'all, I'm not going to do it, like, if y'all say y'all ready, fucking go, I got my, I got my approval, fucking, if y'all, if four people on this team ready to run right now, go fuck your brother, go, I'm telling you, because it's going to only, it's going to only fucking, um, it's going to only, uh, it's only preparing you. You know what I'm saying? That's all it's really doing. And testing you. Testing your skill and where it's at at that particular time. Yeah. Me and Slim, we were about to uh, start racing yesterday, but I wasn't ready. I just had started the game, so. Yeah. And he and he needs to grind some more, so. You said who? Slim. Who? Slim. Oh, Slim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go, I got the SBJ. Definitely. I am definitely looking forward to uh, forward to running. Definitely. Without question. Is it 
just be fucked. Fuck no, it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> no cap, it's gonna be really like, it's gonna be crazy, man. Like, you know, the team has been through a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. Over the past couple of months, or even since the team was founded early this year in March. A lot of strange. Damn, that, damn, that's a long ass time. Fuck, now I think about it, that's a long ass time, dude. Who's been around since March this year? March. Which, which is crazy, because, like, come next year in a couple of months. Well, technically, in a couple of months, we'll be going on a year and, like, reading. Dang. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it don't even feel like it is. But that goes to show you, like, that, that, all that work and shit you put in, dude, that shit, it, it, like, carries over time. You know what I mean? You just don't realize that shit. I mean, because it's so, like, you're so, it's so fresh on your mind, like, yo, all I want to do is run, who was first sounded, you know, me and Brody, we're talking like, yo, man, we're waiting on a name change update, we're, we're like, yo, like, I can't wait for this to, uh, I can't wait for this to, uh, start going into motion and stuff like that. Yeah. And now we're in the position that we're in now, you know what I mean, like, I look at it like this, like. I don't know if you've ever heard of the team Me for Speed Elite. But, yeah. Uh, what Me for Speed, like what what crew is right now, that's what Me for Speed Elite should have been. That's what they should have. Oh. They basically fell off the face of the earth and <laughs> you know, things of that nature. They're not really. They weren't really like focused on the right things and their leadership position. Things yeah. Kind of started to fall through for a lot of different reasons and stuff like that. But once crew was founded, motherfuckers didn't give a fuck about what Elite was doing. <laughs> when we battled Hypersonic after we beat them, the light was like, they kind of like died out. We're still around. Yeah. The only other team that's technically still around right now that's been around. Before we even uh, knew about them, what? Well, the first team we ever battled was RDR. So, like, they've been around you know, for a long ass time. <laughs> <laughs> they've been around a while. So, yeah. like, you know, we're basically that team that's, like, right on, like, either right next to them or, like, starting to edge on them. And as far as, like, things we've done, yeah. history, and the good, bad, the ugly that come from both teams, you know, we still have, like, our, our so main people. I remember when I was around yeah. D.Va, the, um, I forgot who the leader of Elite was back then, but I remember Bullet has always been the same person. Oh, yeah, but I remember he was starting to do some stuff, and D.Va left, Carbon left, and some other people left. And then they made Hypersonic. And then I was about to join Hypersonic. No, I, won't, well, I don't know if I was about to join yet, but... I guess I was getting my times up, because that's what D1 wanted me to do, was get my times up. That's when I met you and Payback. When you had that AMG. And then... Yeah. Now we're here. Yeah, I sucked the shit out of you in that car. I didn't even think you could like, drive that shit. <laughs> anything I get, anything I touch, I make it fast. But it may not be the fastest, but I make it alright. Beat me in that, and you beat me when I was in my 9-11, so I think it was fast, fast. But I like, you know, that's one thing about me, man. Anything I touch, if I know I can do something, and I'll, tr I'll try to do it. You know? Yeah. I'll try. I'll definitely try to do it. And I'm a very, like, you know, what 
I'm so like I'm so stuck in my ways, dude. I'm a racer. That's what I like to do. You know what I mean? If I'm if I'm interested in a car, man, I think I can drive it. I'm trying to drive it. Yeah. Think about it. I'm probably the only person on this team that's even driven that type of car, other than probably Chief. And on payback, it's been noted I'm the better type R driver. I've beat him in that car plenty yeah. of times. <laughs> so, you know, he's the only person I think had it that I've like your problems with when I drove. It. But um, you know, I'm just like, but I'm also like a very uh, I guess I'm just a different person, bro. Yeah. I believe that when it comes to racing, bro, like, I mean, I'd be the best driver out there. I mean, but I know I'm above average. Yeah, you're way sure. above average. I don't think I'm an average driver. I know average drivers, actually. Yeah. So I'm, ob I'm, I'm I may not be in that upper echelon I may not be top tier but if there's top tier and something under that that's probably what I am yeah. I'm under the top tier like I'm that, that other like 10% or some shit I don't, I don't fucking know yeah who was your most challenging person to race like uh, ever no I think it <laughs> I'm ready for it to start, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm pretty excited. These cars need to get out of my way and let me win. Oh <laughs> man, like I don't know. It's crazy I think about it. You've been a part of this team for a little while now too. Yeah, I think what, since the summer? I think. Late summer though. Like, yeah. Like August or some shit. Yeah. I think it was I think it might have been hot. I remember it still being hot where I live. Yeah. Been around for about five to six months. Which is crazy. Yeah. I think it's been that long. But I did take oh, a break from the months. team. 
You've been around for like four months. That is a pretty decent time. You know, it just don't seem like it. It don't seem like it's been. <laughs> yeah. But it has been. Uh, yeah. Probably because I stopped playing Payback for like a month or so. Yeah, I stopped. Matter of fact, I stopped giving a fuck about payback. I think after we had our last bout, which was like forever. Because <laughs> I knew we weren't gonna do anything after that, and there was a lot of like drama and all type of fuck shit going on. Yeah. So now I'm just like. I want to go into he, you know, in a different mindset, technically. Like, my mindset, as far as, like, what I want to do, of course I want to battle and shit like that, but I want to make sure I'm ready for that. So, cars got to be done. Zoom's got to be done. I got to understand most of the tracks, if not all tracks. I'm going to say all the tracks. Yeah. You know, you're comfortable enough with them. So that I can do them all, do all those tracks with every car that I have, so I can get a feel of how to run them with the car or whatever. And then I'm be ready to run. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm racing. I want to battle. Yeah. It's gonna be my focus, cause I know, you know, getting to where I'm trying to get, I'm be running with y'all all the time. So I'll have a feel of what the atmosphere would be like if there was, you know, eight people driving at the time. But yeah. You know, that's the cool aspect of it. I'll be comfortable enough to be like, oh, well, you know, this is what I'm going to be getting into. Because I know the next people we, we race, you know, you're going to only go up and up. Yeah. You're going to only race better people and everything. It's like you guys are all going to get better in time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like a slow, it could be a slow build up, it could be real fast. You know what I'm saying? Like you never know. Yeah. So like, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where like, as long as we like push ourselves to, to get it done, you know, yeah. I think we'll have, uh, I think we'll have, be the game that kind of lets us all know if we're going to keep, you know, like I said, it's going to let us know if this game is what everybody's saying it is, as far as like, oh, this game is just this, that, and third. Yeah. Brody was like, man, but you're gonna, you're gonna need our help, and this, <laughs> man, you're gonna be, you gonna be slow. I was like, bro, do you not know who you talking <laughs> to? You, did you just forget? Like, did you just forget the kind of driver I am? Do you not know what I'm capable of? Because <laughs> best believe, man, when I get to that point. Here we all run. I'm a and him. I know how Brody works. So if I beat him in anything, it could be anything. Best believe I'm talking unlimited shit to him. <laughs> unlimited. He's gonna get. It. He's gonna get. It. He's gonna get it. Get it. Especially after he said that stupid ass shit to me. He's yeah. just. He's just messing with me or whatever. But. He's like, bro, the heat is different, bro. Like, okay. 
Payback was different. 2015 yeah. was different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not like this. <laughs> like, what? You think I'm gonna be scared or something? Like, <laughs> you think I'm just not gonna be good? Like, no. I'm still in my prime, right? I'm gonna be good. <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> super good. But I'm also like looking forward to see how all y'all mesh, how we all mesh together as one. Yeah. So I'm really interested. And we definitely can like can be thinking about mistakes. We can be thinking about yo, I don't like this track or. I don't know this track, like, we can't be doing none of that, we just, we gotta be out here fucking up the tires on all our cars, bro, like, yeah. like we gotta fucking really push ourselves to the, to the highest we can, we can all get in the Yeah. We just push the shit out of each other, and I think that's what's gonna that's what's gonna make us better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, we can run with other people, but I want to get everybody on the same page. We have a great example of people to look at as far as like, quote unquote, our best drivers. If you want to look at that, I don't look at it like that. I think everybody on this team. Is pretty yeah. Good. Or could potentially be even if not better than someone. But there's always an even plan. Like Superior technically, if you look at Payback, he was like our fastest driver, but me and Brody beat him multiple times, even when he got faster. So mm -hmm. like it's one of those things where like shit, like yeah bro. Anything's possible, but like we have, like everybody has their own individual ceiling with how good you think you actually can be. You yeah. can either reach that or exceed it a little bit. I normally exceed whatever mine is, like a little bit every time. Yeah. Normally, I feel like I race with a lot of fast people. There was people on this game I didn't think I could ever beat. That you end up beating them. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up beating them. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, uh, you know, it's something that's, like, near and dear to me. I would never tell those people that. But, um, you know, it's one of those things that kind of, that drives me. You know what I'm saying? And it's also, like, the way I think mentally. The way I'm. I think mentally with the way I go about it, certain things, the way I process certain things, how they click in my head, whatever. Like it's um, it's never a hit or miss. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying to, I'm always trying to find myself. Like I even told myself already. Like I already know what I'm gonna be doing as far as like tuned and all that shit. Like I'm tuning every car test exactly the same. Well, not exactly the same, but as far as, like, what I'm going to do, like, normally when I fix on a car, I make it to where the car is very neutral. It'll do whatever I want it to do yeah. at every game, at any time that I want it to do whatever I want it to do. But in heat, I'm going to play that totally different. I'm going to make most of my builds more of a grip build, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to make it all grip, because that would be just stupid as fuck. And that'll be really hard for me to get used to. <laughs> and I don't want to waste a whole bunch of that time trying to do that. Because, you know, a car with nothing but grip, you know, it's going to be impossible for you to turn that motherfucker. Yeah. So, I'm going to neutralize the car to the best I can. And then I'm going to add just that little, that little extra oomph of grip. So I'm going into turns. I don't got to fucking, you know, hit the brake. I can just, on that bitch. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna make sure that everything I have is, you know, can take 90s and 180s and shit like that, but also 
be able to uh, hold on and, and you know be snug and all that just you know we'll, we'll definitely see how that uh and uh, uh, uh yeah man, it'll be it's gonna definitely be really really dope it's gonna be really really like It'd be really fun because I know most of everybody on the team is really waiting on me. I'll, I'll wait on me and Pops to come back. drive with me and pops at the same fucking time bro. I've been looking forward to that for years bro years and now I'm finally gonna get it it's gonna be fucking absolutely ridiculous I'm also interested in seeing what he's gonna drive you know what I'm saying like what, he, what he's gonna do. yeah just trust me I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> really hard. I don't think I've ever met him before. He is a very he man. He's he's really just straight to it, man. Like he, he he's a race guy. You know what I'm saying? Like he likes to he likes to get out there and tear the roads up. Um, real old school. He likes old school cars. He's a very muscle car kind of guy. Yeah, like from what, I, from what I kind of get from him, you know what I'm saying? Um, but he, he knows what he's doing. Like, he definitely knows what he's doing, but he does not tolerate bullshit. So, <laughs> you know, like he's a very like, like he's, he's like an older version of me, I guess, if you want to look at it like that. But, you know, he's a little different than me, though. Like he's like, he has a different, he has, he just has a different, like, everybody on this team has a different personality and a different approach to how they want to get something done. So, for me, like, he's a very, like, he, ha he has a different approach, man, like, he has a different way of figure mental, you know what I'm saying, and kind of, you know, reading the kind of person you are. But he's also very, he's a very genuine person. He just has to get to know you. Like, you gotta, like if you don't show any kind of want to be his friend, he's not going to be your friend. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's not going to make, he's going to let you know that, you know, he got your back. But you also got to let him, you got to prove it to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a very, like, uh... And he's just like uh and he's he's pops bro, like he's OG of OG. Like he's the guy that we like even me man, I leaned on him a lot, man. Like from the day I made crew, from the decisions I made, people that left, came a part of it, like all that. He's a part of a lot of that. A lot of those conversations, a lot of those, hey, should we do this or Yo, I was thinking about doing this. Like, how should I approach it? Like, he's a part of a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I yeah. value his opinion. He has a very, he's a very intelligent individual. You know what I'm saying? Like, he never, like, he never said, he, but he never second guesses anything that I do. Like, if I'm straight with it, like, straight with the idea, off rip, boom, he'll tell me to do it. You know what I'm saying? He won't, he won't tell you. Like, he tells me not to hesitate. Go do it. So, I mean, he's a very, like, uh, he's a very dope dude, man, very dope driver, of course, he's older, so his timing and hand-eye coordination isn't as great as it used to be, but even with that said, he's still a great driver, like, he still has that, he's like that driver where if you run into him in any given lobby, do not take him lightly. 
know yeah. what I'm saying? Just yeah. because you might, you know what I mean, you might beat him in a race or two, don't mean when that next list start you can beat him. I mean, because he might flip a switch on you. Because you might, you might show him something. I mean, he would probably be looking at you like, and when he steps it up, he steps up. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm saying? He's, yeah. He, he goes all the way with it. You know what I'm saying? He's very, like, man, he's very dope dude, man. Like, super dope dude, super dope driver, man. Uh, he's a part of a lot of, uh, he's very, like, he's kind of behind the scenes, you know what I mean? Like, he's not very, like. Active. He's active. A, no, he's active. He's super active. He's just behind the scenes. Like he doesn't really get into uh, a lot of the. Uh, he's like he like when the team had problems and stuff like that. Like I've gotten his uh, feedback on that, but he's very like he lets me do me. I mean, he just gives me his advice on it. You know what I'm saying? Or his point of view, or his uh, his his his. his viewpoint on it and he'll say yo this is how I feel but hey do what you do but this is how I feel you know what I'm saying so when I do certain things when I make certain moves yeah. and I do it a particular way because of what he might have said you know what I'm saying like I may still do it but I'll go about it differently you know what I'm saying like or I may not do it at all because of what he said even if some other people agreed to want to do it you know what I'm saying like it's a it's a it's a uh, his voice to me is very important. You know what I'm saying? I may not tell him that all the time, but it is. Definitely is. He's a guy that I definitely want the team to be around because, you know, the things he tells y'all is coming from a very genuine place. He would never steer y'all into the wrong direction, man. He's straight up with it, man. Like, he's straight with it. But he's like my right hand without me having to without me having to give him the title, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he's low-key like me, you know, I'm, I stay behind the scenes, I don't really be around, I'll never be in y'all's ear all the time, even though I'm probably gonna be real soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't, I don't read, you know, I don't read too much into shit, man, like, when I, when I feel a certain, well, that plus if I feel a certain certain way about something it's for a reason and normally even if you know Brody disagrees and I do it anyway I do it for a reason yeah. everything I do is calculated you know what I'm saying like I don't do any, I don't make I don't do anything for no reason I always have a reason I mean and that goes with everybody that's part of the team everybody that's a part of this team today I have you here for a reason you know what I'm saying I didn't just want you here because I thought you were fast. I didn't want you here because I believe in you. Like you're here for a reason, but it's not. It's not up to me to tell you what that reason is. You have to figure it out. Which, if you are the person I think you are, you're gonna figure it out. So that comes into play. You know what I'm saying like everything. You know what I mean? Matters. Everything makes sense. Everything is gonna fall into place. You know? Yeah. But it's not just me that's gonna make this happen. It's everybody. It's collective. I mean. Yeah. But uh, you know, you join the team, man. Like you're the youngest person we have. Yeah. So think about that for a second. Think about that. You have friends that are your age. You have friends that are your age that game. So you are technically a voice for other people. How, and with you having that, that's important to me. Because you can reach people that I may not be able to reach. You know what I'm saying? Our yeah. Brody may not technically be able to reach. You know? Yeah. So, and you're also a blueprint for a lot of these younger guys, too. Think about it. Yeah, I never thought of that yeah, way. Yeah. that way. I mean, like, you know, like, you never really know. Like, I feel like crew, I feel like we're a blue, we're, this team, we're a blueprint of a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? We're a blueprint of, yo, you can make a team, 
get the right guys around you, y'all can y'all can do a lot. You know I mean, you can also, you know, what I mean, me being the being one of the founders, me being me having the voice that I have. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I have a voice. I'm here I'm here for a reason. I'm a part of this community for a reason. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this community's us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, is it? No, it's not. Do I want to change it? Yes, I do. Is it going to take time? Yes, it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I like the fact that I'm here. I take pride in it. Take pride in the fact that crew is in the position that it's in right now, and no one can take that from us because we put in that work. We did that shit ourselves. And we didn't have any help. You know what I'm saying? We did this shit ourselves. Yeah. And just like I said, you know what I mean? Like you're, you being the youngest member we have. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I may have my own particular like uh, perspectives and my own particular feels when it comes to you but you can reach a particular audience that I can't you know what I'm saying because I'm older yeah. I mean you you being the age you are you may run into some to some people that's around your age you'll be able to talk to them like yo man I'm a part of this team you know what I mean these guys are dope great drivers man they could you know if y'all ever if y'all want to become something I know someone that has the blueprint to do that which is me you know what I'm saying yeah. I'm the blueprint I'm the I'm part of the blueprint you're part of the blueprint everybody is you know what I'm saying? Yeah. we all have a, a voice you know what I'm saying a voice of reason a voice of uh, peace but don't fuck with what we represent you know? yeah Somebody you like somebody may hit you, but they don't hit harder than we do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't quit. We don't ever give up. We have an inner, an inner push in us that's gonna, you know, push us to to a particular uh, level that no one can reach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that we have a, you know, I feel like crew is here for a reason, man. We're part of this community for a reason, and we're going to be here forever. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Our boo, like, we're already stamped into this shit already. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have, we put our work in. You know what I mean? It's only going to add to what we do in the future. You know? Yeah. But it's going to take all of us to keep the team going. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be there. It's gonna take us all to be there. And I appreciate you saying that because, you know, I, mean, I value the things you say you know, more than you think. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. But I'm um, definitely a. Uh, I'm definitely proud of you, man. You've been putting in a tremendous amount of work, man. Thank you. Definitely, definitely, uh, been doing your thing, man. Trust me, you know what I'm saying? You, you will always have my support, man, no matter what you want to do. I got your back, man. Whenever you need it. Whenever Same. you need it, I got you. Same for you. And, and whatever you need, you know what I'm saying? If you need help with something, you know, no matter what it is, let me know. Make sure that we, we make that shit happen, man. Because it's important. It's very important. Everything that any, every and anything y'all want to do is important, and it will get done. Yes, sir. Without question. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because just like I said, you know, crew is crew, man. We're not AR. We're not XCL. We're crew. We're united for a reason. You know what I'm saying? We're here for a reason. Yeah. And can't nobody take that from us, and nobody is going to be able to take us out, the, out of the position we're in because we did it ourselves. Nobody can tell us shit. No one. I don't care who you are. <laughs> you can be in the holy himself. You can't tell me shit. <laughs> what, can you, what can you tell me that I don't already know? Yeah. What could you tell my team that they don't already know? 
You can't. Nothing. You can't tell them shit. You know what I'm saying? They can't tell you nothing that I hadn't all. I probably already told you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? It could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's, it's one of those things where shit, we gonna keep pushing no matter who's here, no matter, no matter who is, you know, in our way, so to speak. Even though I feel like there's no one in our way, we're gonna do whatever we want to do. You know what I mean? The outcome is the outcome. Win or loss don't matter to me we just want our I just want I want the team to be respected you know what I'm saying and I, until I feel like we're respected I'll keep working for it you know what I'm saying like I'll keep the team moving forward so we get it I feel like for the most part we got it you know what I'm saying for the most part yeah I think we got our respect I think we got our just due you know what I'm saying with the work we put in on payback I think we did I think we put ourselves in a particular position that I don't think anybody any other team can take us out of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're gonna only we're only we're only gonna get better from here, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, if we go into a battle and we're just not doing our best and we lose, it's just it happens. It's like it's yeah, another you thing know what I'm saying? Happens. Like I, I always I always believe like there's always someone out there that's faster than you. But that does not mean you won't ever be able to compete with that person. You know what I'm saying? You'll always be able to compete. Always. Period. You can always compete. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can always get out there and run with the best stuff. And don't matter who it is. You can always get out there and compete. And, um... If we take a loss, hey, it's cool. You know what I mean? When Crew First was founded and we had our first battle, we lost it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we fucking lost that shit, but it was close. You know what I'm saying? It was super close. You know what I mean? But we also know what it's like to win, too. Yeah. Because <laughs> we've beat teams, too. So, you know, it's, it's not a, um, you know, it's not necessarily like it's not about the wins and losses, man. It's about the it's about the relationships we build with these people. Yeah. Because you know, not everybody is gonna be able to get that opportunity or even be able to take advantage of said opportunity. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's gonna be all up to us collectively to to do that, which I feel like you know we're we're good on that. Like we done a lot we're gonna only exceed our own expectations as time goes on that's one thing I love about the NFS community that it's like even though we might have rivals and stuff we're still all together as one big team man it seemed like it but the N if you think about it, the NFS community is one big team yeah uh, yeah definitely even though just we might be everybody, each other. every everybody, and every team has a different perspective. That's all. That's the only thing that makes us different. Yeah. That's the only thing that separates us. Is the way everybody you know goes about things, the way they run their team, the way they want to you know make their mark within the community or whatever. Everybody's different. Every team's different. You know what I mean? But we're all here for a reason. You know what I mean? We're all able to be in contact with each other for a reason. So it's like you know. It's just, it's like, it's just an opportunity, really. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. You know, I know yeah. the people that I know because of, you know, I value those particular relationships. I may not have agree with every everything that this, that another person might say, but I can also say that, you know, the people that I've talked to over these years, you know, have, it's been for me. I'm, you know, attached to these people for a reason. I know these people for a reason, so it's like, you know, I can't, I can't take anything from that but that, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, it's definitely, uh, um, it's definitely one of those things where, like, yo, know, like, it's, it's dope that we were able to do the things we do, and, uh, and, uh, just go hard at what we do, you know what I'm saying, just everything is 
every picture that we paint, you know, I mean, we're painting the right picture every time. You know, I mean, we're just you know, certain people may not understand, you know, the particular picture we're trying to paint. Some people may not even agree with it, you know, I mean, even though it comes from a genuine place. I mean, it's just one of those things where, like I said, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, not everybody's going to agree with what we do, but as long as they have a respect for what we do, that's better than nothing, right? Yeah. So, you know, I think that that's a... Uh, I think that that's the good about what we do. You know, not, not everybody's gonna agree. You know, I mean, not everybody's gonna like what we do, even though you know we don't give a fuck. We don't care. Cause we don't need anyone's approval to do what we want to do. As long See, as we can agree on it, we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> One thing I really love about this team is that we're kind of like. If we lose, we wouldn't care because we know that we're well respected. Instead of us being like the best of the best, but everyone will hate us. I think that's where we're kind of at. Like, we're like, even though if we do lose, we, we wouldn't care. Because we always know that we can fix that mistake and win again. And it's not even, it's, it's, it's like, you know, even if we do lose, right, it's a loss. Okay? Yeah, no matter what. Everybody loses, you know what I mean? Like, ain't no team out there that's perfect. I don't care. I don't care who they are, bro. Y'all ain't perfect, man. Y'all aren't. You know, y'all may consider yourselves the best team, but y'all may not be. I mean, just because y'all have a world record, does that mean you better than me? No, it don't. <laughs> that don't mean shit to me. You can have as many world records as you want. But if your team loses to my team, who's better? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a, like that shit don't matter. Yeah. I mean, but at the same time, it's not going to matter to us anyway, whether y'all beat us or not. All we want is our respect. Period. Yeah. Want our respect. I mean, rather you give it to us or we earn it, it is what it is. But we're going to get our respect. Period. And yeah. we won't sleep until we get it. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's just what it's about. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm out there running, bro, like, I don't run to beat motherfuckers. I don't care about that shit. I want to be respected. To be looked at as one of those drivers, like yo, he may not be the best driver out there, but he, I respect him. I fuck with him. Yeah. He, he's a dope driver. He's a solid dude. He's genuine. That's one guy you want to make sure you keep on your friends list because he's a genuine person. You know what I'm saying? That to me matters. All that other shit don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? I can only imagine what. Like, I wouldn't even want that. Like, if, imagine if the team, right, is the team. Like, imagine if crew is the way it is right now. But let's just say a few of us was world record holders. Do you think we'd be looked at the same? No. We yeah. wouldn't be looked at the same. We'd be looked at totally different. We'd, look, we'd be looked at totally different. And that particular light is a light that I'm not necessarily interested in. And the reason why is because I don't want you to fuck with me because I'm a world record holder. I want you to fuck with me because you respect me. There's a difference. There's a big difference between respecting someone because of because of the fact that they have a world record and respecting someone because you actually respect them. That's different. That is totally different. Yeah. I don't care what anyone says, like, of course, like, do I like Unholy? Of course I do. I have a respect for him. But do I respect him because he's a world record holder? No. I don't give a fuck about that. What I do give a fuck about is the conversations we have had, and we've been able to discuss these conversations, and we made a, we, we, made, we have a respect for each other. That's what I value. 
that's what's gonna make me want to keep driving that's what's gonna make me want to stay a part of this community that's exactly what makes me that's what keeps me here when when there's when that's not around when I don't get that anymore I won't be on this shit anymore tell yeah. me but the fact that that's still here I'm gonna always be here I mean now do I need to get disrespect from other teams in a way I do but at the same time the respect I really want I've already gotten it and that's from the people that's a part of crew because y'all's opinions are the only opinions I really care about you know what I'm saying like that to me is more genuine that you that's as much genuineness as you can get that's as yeah. genuine as you can get right there I mean like I me personally I don't give a man I don't give two fucks about what the next motherfucker gotta say but if you tell me something and you're like yo Lou nah bro you're, you're, you're out of line or yo Lou you right you right about that that is something I value. Yeah. That's what keeps me around. You know what I mean, I'm not here because I want to be a world record holder. I'm not a fan of this team because I want to be a world record holder. This team isn't where it is. Isn't we crew didn't get to where it, where it is right now because we're world record holders. Think about that. Yeah. We got to the way we got to this point because of the work we put in. You know what I mean, the world record shit, that man, that shit don't matter, man. It don't. It only matters to the people that want it to matter. To me, that shit will never matter because that's not the bigger. That's not a big. That's not the big picture. You know what I'm saying? At least for me, it's not. Now, if you want to be a world record, hey man, try to try to fucking do it. I'm not gonna stop you. But just know that that particular light is a different light different because mm -hmm. with that there's gonna come something with that that you not gonna like trust me I know and I've never been a world record holder, but I know that the, that light that all those guys we know get is a different light bro yeah different look at Unholy look at Tac look at Chama I mean look at Skyline it's a different light. They get a different. They have a different kind of light shined on them. Yeah. And with that comes good and bad. Just like with us being a part of this team, we get good and bad. The yeah. only thing that makes us different is that if you, one or two of those guys have world records and we don't, that's the only thing that makes us different. Yeah. Technically. But at the same time, like, yo, like, to me that means absolutely nothing. Like, I could tell you right now, like, if I was a world record holder, I can only, I, I can't even remotely tell you what that would make, I don't even, I can't even tell you how that would make me feel if I was a world record holder. I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't know. Like, I wouldn't, like, I don't know how I would even go about that. I mean, if people started saying, like, yo, man, you know, Lou, man, he, he got world rec he got some world records now, yo. Like, did you see him beat so-and-so's record or him do this? Like, yo, I'm not interested in that kind of conversation. Like, I'm not interested in that. I don't want that. I want people thinking like, oh man, yeah, I'm gonna start talking to this guy now because he's a world record holder. No, don't talk to me because I'm a world record holder. Talk to me because you want to know who I am. Or you want to get to know what I'm trying to do or what I'm trying to accomplish or what I stand for. That's what you need to talk to me for. Don't talk to me because I'm a world record holder, bro. Like, I don't, I would, I'm telling you, I would not fuck with that shit. I would hate it. I would hate that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean, because I think that that I think that that's a light that I'm not really interested in. 
I could only imagine, like, I could only imagine what this team would be like if every, like, if everyone was a world record holder. Man, I can't tell you how much bullshit we gonna hear. Because we gonna hear a lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it. Even, even if we have proof on every one of us being a world record holder at a point. Because I look at it like this. If I'm, if we're all world, world record holders, right? set records for particular tracks and then let's say some people beat those particular records right mm -hmm. but we set them we set the we set the standard so if we set the standard just because you beat it does not mean that we're still not world record holders same rules yeah. apply so I don't think that that and I think that that's so there's that I feel like the community focuses too much on that type of shit and I don't necessarily like that. You know what I mean? Because you saying that you're a world record holder, you're basically saying that you're better than everyone. Yeah. Which in reality, you're it's not. not even, that's not even remotely true. Because, yes, the people that are holding these are getting these world records or whatever, right? Who's to say that there is some, there's not people out there that have beat those records, but we just hadn't seen them. Think about that. Yeah. Some of these people could be U.S. drivers, some of these people could be overseas drivers. We don't know. But just because of the fact that we are, we know the people that put up these videos and say, yo, like I set the record for this and that, and, you know, boom, boom. Okay, that's cool or whatever, but... What are you really doing to change this community, bro? Nothing. You're not doing anything. You give you're you're giving yourself a particular light because you did set a world record. That yeah. it took some time for someone to beat. Alright, cool. It took it, you got a world record, that's cool, but what are you really doing to change the look of the community? Nothing. You're not doing anything. At least for me, I know that I'm doing something because I talk to these, I talk to people. You know what I'm saying? I reach out to people. Let them know, like, yo, I'm the founder of this team. You know what I mean? I, I know that you're a new team coming up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I mean, if you need anything, holla at your boy. Yeah. It's simple. It's, I'm building relationships and I'm doing it for a reason. I want people to be, I want people to be attracted to wanting to do their own thing. I want people to be attracted to wanting to join a team. I want people to be attracted to being a part of the competitive side of this community. That's yeah. what I want. I want people to, I want people to want to be a part of this community. I don't want people to steer away from it. That's why everything that competitive drivers want, it takes us forever to get the shit. You wanna know why? Because we don't communicate. We don't mesh well. We don't like each other for a particular reason. Or we don't get along because this reason, that reason. When in reality, if we were to all actually work together, maybe something could change. Maybe. You never know. Yeah. But I also think that, you know, it's gonna take us all to kind of focus in on that shit and that's gonna be really hard because of the fact that certain teams are really focused on one thing and that's being what? A the world best. record holder bro like that shit gets so old to me fast it gets old to me fast yeah. like y'all all driving the same fucking car setting the records in these same ass car that we've been seeing since 2015 yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are you doing that? There's no, there's no, there's no even playing field with that shit, man. Like, and I can't necessarily agree with something that I feel that way about. Yeah. Man, like, I'm, I'm not gonna ever change that particular mindset because I, I like the fact that. Yeah, 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 I'll set a real record in a Porsche. Okay, we've seen that before. Set a record in a Regera. 
We've seen that before. 65. We've seen it before. Okay, you're just doing it on a whole nother game with a whole nother feel. A whole nother map. We've seen this shit before. I could only imagine what this community would be like if motherfuckers was actually driving totally like just, just other shit than the shit we've been seeing for the past like fucking six years. Yeah. If you look at 2015 all the way up until now, what car is the best car in the game? It's the fucking Porsche. Yeah. It's the same fucking car, dude. Think about that for a minute. It's the same fucking car. And then it makes me think because I'm like, damn. The same car is still getting the same notoriety, the same feel. And that's cool. People are setting the records in this particular vehicle. That's great. I get it. But no one gives a fuck. No one cares. Like, I seen a guy that's a part of a particular team. And he posted a video, right? Of mm -hmm. him driving an Evo. A Lancer. You know what I'm saying? The, the regular, like the old school one. Well, I ain't gonna say old school one, but the one that's, uh, that we would technically consider a sleeper car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or a car that you would drive just to fuck around and, you know what I mean, just chill or whatever. I mean, yeah. A little tuna whip. You know what I mean? It's not the Evo 9, just a regular ass Evo Lancer. I can't remember what model that it is, but, um, he was like, hey, he made this video and he was like, hey, try to beat this time. I did this without using NOS. Bruh, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, you wanna know why I don't give a fuck about none of that? And this is why. Okay, you're doing that? You made that video? Because of what? What made you put that video up? Because mm -hmm. you wanna show people that you want to show people that, yo, you can set a fast time in this car without using NOS? Or you're trying to prove a point to say, oh, yeah, I can drive other shit. With shit. Not only can I drive other shit, but I can drive this car, get this time without using NOS. Okay. So okay. who are you trying to prove that to? Somebody that you don't even know? Someone that's probably not even relevant? You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing that because somebody was talking shit to you because all you drive is a Porsche? Makes sense. It makes sense that you would go get into that car, go into a track, run it without NOS, and post that video because all you drive is a Porsche. Okay. Yeah. Still, what's the point? What point are you trying to prove? What are you trying to accomplish by putting that video up? Nothing. You're not doing anything. I should post a video right now just to say thank you to everyone. And I can almost guarantee you that no one's going to give a fuck about that. <laughs> no one's going to give a fuck about that. But if I post a video in my Porsche, get a, do a race that someone's did or someone hasn't done and say, oh, I'm a world record holder. I just set this time. Yay. <laughs> Fuck with me. Because I think that's what, that to me, that's what that means. Like, if I, if I say, oh, here's the time for this track. Here you go. World record. The moment I do that, motherfuckers are going to be like, oh, that's not a world record. Here's the real time. How the fuck do you know? How do you know that's the real time? If I just said it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You don't fucking know. You don't know because we don't even know each other. I don't even know you. So who are you to tell me I'm not a world record holder when I'm the one that said it? You can't. You can't tell me shit. You can't tell me nothing. I don't want to hear shit from you. I don't want to hear shit from your friend. I don't want to hear shit from the other motherfuckers you talk to. I don't care. Listen. Here. You can go beat that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck, but just know I said it. I'm the world record holder first. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that particular, like, even that thought process makes me mad because you're not thinking, you're not thinking genuinely. You're thinking 
in a more cocky mentality and I don't think that way I'm not a cocky individual you know what I'm saying like yeah do I want to set a fast time in the track sure who doesn't I'm in something I don't have to just do it in a Porsche I can do it in other shit yeah that's the difference I mean, I don't need a Porsche to get a decently fast time or something. I also don't need a Porsche to beat someone. I've beat people into everything that I've ever touched, including people that I thought I couldn't beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, that simple. I was beating motherfuckers in a Boss 302 and off-road and payback when no one fucked with that car. Yeah. I was beating fucking 65s and that shit with ease. But of course I'm not going to glorify that because I don't give a fuck about that. I don't care. But I do care about, you know, the relationships I build with these people because I want them to see the bigger picture. I mean, y'all got to understand, like, yo, this world record shit y'all doing, nobody gives a fuck about that shit, yo. Just because you set a world record, what, you want me to fucking get this, get this Porsche, put all my time into this one car, go run that track a fucking million times, probably never get a chance to beat your fucking time, and now I'm sitting here looking dumb. I just wasted all my fucking time doing that shit. <laughs> when if I was focusing on other shit, focusing on not that track but if I wasn't focused on beating some like if you're focusing on beating something you're not gonna ever you're not gonna ever stop not to say that that's a bad thing cause then you're gonna start setting time for other shit whatever but then again like what about that guy that wants to beat you what about that what about that guy that really looks up to you what you do what would you tell him what would you do for him you know what I mean yeah what tell him some bullshit cause that's what most of the motherfuckers be doing they tell y'all bullshit a lot bullshit I could, on, I could only imagine our team would be 20 times 20,000 times better than what it is if I was a world record holder. Because if I was a world record holder, y'all all would be world record holders because I would give y'all the game. I'd want y'all to be world record holders too. Yeah. But just like I said, even if we were like that, we wouldn't, it would be, I feel like people would fuck with us for the wrong reasons. People would like vibe with us for the wrong reasons. I can't fuck with that. Yeah. I want you to fuck with us for the right reasons. Not the wrong reasons, but the right reasons. And I think that's what makes our team great, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Same what do you think? Why? Because it just it makes it makes sense. It makes the most sense of everything else. Cause if you want, if you want to be a world record holder, fine, do it. You know what? I mean, if you think that people will truly care about you just because you're a world record holder, you're completely wrong. The only reason why people would care about you is because of that status. Because you might have had the fastest time on a track. Just then people will try to beat it. Maybe they will never beat it. But it wouldn't matter. Because you won't have true respect. You will have the fake respect. And as soon as you will need somebody, no one will be there. Because you be a world record and then everybody just likes you because of that. But on the other hand, people like you have the true respect. And 
the type of respect that you can't buy. You can't buy that. Yeah. You yeah. have to earn it. <laughs> That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these, like a lot of these guys that we know that, you know, like the guys that we know that are world record holders, right? For example. Let's say Unholy, for example. If you notice that anything Unholy puts up, no matter what it is, everybody's watching that shit, right? Yeah. For the most part, even me, even I would watch it. <laughs> but the difference between me watching it and what most of these motherfuckers is watching it for, it's different. It's totally different. Totally different. Like yeah, I show love, you know what I'm saying? I give I give people that respect. I'm like, yo, I just got hey, this is the time I just got for this track, boom boom. Alright, cool. I'm like, yo, good run, homie. Well honey. I like that. But I'm not giving you that compliment because of what you did. I'm giving you that compliment. Because I want you to know that I'm watching. I'm paying attention to you. Which lets you know what? You should you know that I'm around. You can yeah. hit me up whenever you want. But if you look at Unholy and his stature and him being a world record holder and that light that shines on him all the time. Motherfuckers are always asking him about something. Yeah. Like, hey, yo, how do you do this? How can I be this? How can I make my car this, that, and everything else? Yo, there's nothing that man can't tell you that you can't find out yourself without without anyone even helping you. Yeah. Like, if you look at Payback, for example, right? I never got a Porsche tune from anyone. Anyone. Porsche tune that I use. Payback. was mine. Now have I ever had help? Sure. I've had help. Absolutely. Because I'm curious. I might try something out. Why not? You had see how it works but everything that I have and everything that I touch is mine so when I beat people I have my I get my own I guess satisfaction from it because I did it myself I put the hours in I put the time in I drove this car every day for God knows how long (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I did that shit. Yeah. When you ran with me that day, you were probably like, yo, that's kind of neat. This dude's driving an A45. I don't know anyone that drives that shit. He was fast at that. I wonder how he got fast at that. How'd he do that shit? Yo, I drove that shit every day. (laughs) That's exactly how I did it. And then on top of me doing that, Guess what else I did? I sat for hours trying to max out that car. Hours. The days. And then even longer because I'm driving all the tracks. I'm trying to get comfortable with it. See what it's good at. What it's not good at. All that shit. And that's the difference between me and a lot of these other people that drive. Because most people that, like, mostly anyone that drives, you have your own particular goal and want when you work on something. But, when you look at a guy that's a world record holder, and what he wants, and what he's trying to do, different. Of course, if you consider yourself to be a world record holder and you strive for being a world record holder, I feel like you lack respect for everyone. 
and the reason why, yeah, you may not say nothing about it, but you don't have to, because you're quote unquote setting a standard. Yeah. Why are you setting the standard for a game, bro? Why? It's a game. People play games to do what? Have That's fun. Right. Don't play games to try to compete with someone that we don't even know. Why? There's no point in that. There's no point in me striving to be you when I could be me a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot better. Just like I've told you before, I don't compete with anyone but myself. And that's what makes me driver that I am. Yeah, I may not be top tier, but I get the respect. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm more, I will forever be thankful for that. And I like the fact that the relationship was I built weren't because of the fact that I was a world record holder. I love it. As I can honestly tell you, I'd probably be angry as fuck right now if I was a world record holder. And that's why people would, you know, talk to me and shit like that. I'm not interested. Because I don't think it's a good, I don't think it's a good process. I don't think it's a good mindset. I don't think that's what's, that's not going to keep people. That's, that's not going to want people to come over here. People are, it's not going to want it's not going to make people want to come join the team and shit like that. Or want to be a part of something. Or even do their own thing. I mean. They're going to be like, yo. You're a world record holder. How can I get a world record? Can you help me get a world record? No. I don't want, I don't want that kind of conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that that's what people forget, man. They forget about what real racing is really about, bro. Like, think about when people race in real life. People ain't racing in real life for fucking, you know, a world record. They're racing because they want the respect. Yeah. They do it for. Look at all the Fast and the Fierce movies we've all watched over the years. Oh. Uh, they weren't. Uh, they weren't doing. They weren't doing all that shit for fucking. Know the shits and giggles, man. They were doing it for the respect. They did it for. It. Raise someone, beat them, build a relationship. All right, cool. It had nothing to do with a fucking record. Sometimes it didn't even really have to do with money. It was the respect. You know? I want you to run with me. I want you to be a part of this crew because I respect you. I fucks with you. I like your. I like. I like kind of mindset you have, I value your opinion. That's what racing is about. So we that's what we love. I mean, and we love cars. And who doesn't love cars? You gotta be a weird individual to not love cars. Yeah. To be honest here. Especially if you like the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me and you, you know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna always have a love for cars. I've had a love for cars since I was young, super young. I mean, I've always loved cars. Now, would I ever be like a NASCAR driver or something? No, because I'm not interested in that. You know what I'm saying? Would I ever be a street racer? No, I'm not interested in that. But I'm interested in the respect that comes. That's what I like. That's what I'm into. Yeah. I want people to I want people to talk to y'all and stuff like that for the right reasons, man, not the wrong reasons. Because I can tell you right now, if you're a world record holder and people start talking to you, they be talking to you for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Guarantee. Just like I'm pretty sure unholy and tacking all them people talk to them for the wrong reasons. They don't talk to them for the right reasons. And the people that really like chop it up and stay in tune with them, they're all in that same situation. They're all looked at in a particular light. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not mad at it. 
I, it's not, it's, I'm not saying that I don't respect it. I'm not saying that because I don't like it. I'm saying that because I don't think that that's, uh, um, I don't think that's, I don't think that's what's going to keep this community in the right place. You didn't pay back, for an example, at the end, you had a chance to become a multi-millionaire, probably. But all he wanted was that respect. Even though it's a, it's a video game, it still symbolizes of what, of respect, is what most people want. Hell yeah. For sure. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just like, yo, like, it's that, and then it's just like, it's a picture painter, man, like, some people can relate, and some people just can't, bro. Some people can't, some people cannot relate to that. Yeah. I mean, some people can, like, we're having this conversation right now. Not a lot of people agree with what we're talking about right now. Yeah. But I'm not taking anything from those people that work hard to get world records because I know they work hard. They work hard for that. I know you do. Like I know they do. I know. I know. Unholy don't just get on and be able to get that shit like that, bro. He works for that shit. He puts time into it. You know what I mean? He focuses on that. And I can't, I'm not gonna ever, I wouldn't ever take that from any of those guys that do it. But I can agree to disagree with honor and, and being, and knowing that it comes from a genuine place with the way I feel. You know what I'm yeah. And just like I said, I know a lot of people do not agree with the way I think, man. I know a lot of people. I do know people that kind of do agree in a in a sense they understand where I'm coming from so that 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 in itself is like cool enough to where like okay you can agree to disagree but it's cool though you know, always be chill I think that that's the uh, the good part about it so that's that's what that's what drives me Like, if you look at me, like, as far as, like, me personally, like, in real life and the way I view life, it's, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I value, I have a different way of valuing life, too. I don't value, like, and well, I ain't gonna say that. I have a different, I have a, you know, you know how you wake up in the morning, right? Yeah. And there's something that drives you. There's something that pushes you to wake up. Something that pushes you to go to school or go to work or whatever that may be. You have something that drives you. And sometimes it, it'll take you a long time to figure out. But something's driving you. Everybody has a purpose. So like, for me, you know, I have a purpose. I'm here for a reason. But I'm not driven by what most people are driven by in real life. Real life, most people are driven by what? Money. What you're driven by. That's what wakes people up in the morning. That's what foods on people's back and all that shit. Yeah, okay. I mean, clothes on people's back, food on the table, whatever. That's cool. I get that. But I can tell you right now, that could be a thousand dollars sitting in front of me. I could take a lighter to it and burn it and not feel any way about that. Why? I don't value the dollar. I don't. Do I like to have it? Yeah, sure. Who does? Do I care enough to like have that drive me? No, I don't. It never will. <laughs> because money we know the root and the history of money. It's killed a lot of people. Yeah. Tons. 
thousands, millions even, probably. I, I don't value it like that. I value relationships. And I value love and shit like that. That's what I value. I don't give a damn about money. I have real family members in my life right now that I have not spoken to because of real things, real genuine shit, and the way I think. Yeah. One of these people being my blood brother, being him, I'm probably going to have a different kind of relationship because of because, like, not to say that, you know, like, I feel like my brothers have a gift. Like, my mom, they have a gift. I feel like the gift that I have is a little stronger than them. That's how I feel. Uh, I have a third order brother that's very religious. He wants me to kind of follow that particular, you know walk of life. I'm not interested in it. Here's why. Of course, when I'm ready to know the history and all that shit, man, I'll ask him. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll figure it out myself. You know what I'm saying? I'll do my own research. Find my own something or religion to believe in. You know what I'm saying? But until then, don't call me and be trying to talk to me about that shit, man. Like, because it's a it's a very touchy conversation, man. Like, and I understand where my brother's coming from and stuff like that, but also don't fuck with some of the shit he be talking about. <laughs> like, I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I ain't gonna say I don't fuck with it. I just don't agree with it. I'm saying me and my mom aren't seeing eye to eye right now because I don't I don't necessarily agree with the be with it. I don't like it. I never will. So I can just respect it from a distance, you know? Yeah. That's just how I look at it. I just have a different way of looking at life, bro. A different way of perceiving things, a different way of looking at things, what have you, but, you know, I don't, I just don't, uh, I just have a different way of thinking, bro. And the way I think, I feel like it's very, uh, it's deeper than what, you know, I could tell you if that makes sense, because I don't. You know, obviously I'm not, you know, God or an angel, so I don't have all the answers, but who's to say that I'm not an angel? Yeah. So who's to say that I'm not here to tell people something? I just don't know what the fuck it is. Well, I ain't gonna say I don't know what it is, because I do know what it is. But I'm not gonna just fucking... You know, like it, it, it have to be like I have to explain it to certain people in a different way. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I go with the way I look at life and the way I view it is different. You know what I'm saying people look at <coughs> people look at um, things differently, man. Everybody's different. You know what I'm saying. And, I'm one of those people that I know I'm different, bro. <laughs> like, I'm a different person. I'm not the, <clears throat> not the same, like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I just know I got a gift. It's like, it's bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. I think that's a better way to kind of play in the person I am. I believe everybody has a gift. You know what I'm saying? I have a gift. I just don't like, you know, my gift is, is just different than, you 
anybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think it's like a it's like a gift and a curse, man. Some people agree with us, some people don't. Some people like me, some people don't. Some people you know, can understand, some people can't. Who? All right. I love unconditionally. I love you. I love you. I'll never change. But, um, it's just like I said before, man. We can agree or disagree. And, and it'd be genuine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's funny. I've been talking to you about all type of shit. <laughs> like the past two hours. Dude, you gotta be sleepy, cause I'm sleepy, bro. I mean, kinda. Are you sleepy? Yeah, kinda. Dude, I'm fucking sleepy, dude. <laughs> but I don't know I was why, just, though, dude. But you I'm know what's crazy? Look. You know what's crazy, dude? I've yeah. been like, well, like yesterday, like I was like, like I was in and out of sleep and shit. Like I took naps and shit. Yeah. Like I'm tired, dude. Like I don't know why I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired right now, but I'm tired. And it's funny, because, like, this particular weekend, bro, has been, like, the... Probably one of the chillest weekends I've had, because, like... I hadn't really gained, bro, like... As a matter of fact, if I now think about it, I hadn't really gained this week, now I think about it, like... I've played the game, but it's just like, I hadn't really been like, into it, you know what I'm saying, like I normally would be. Sometimes I'll be like, I'll be playing, like I'll get on and play, and I'm just like, man, bro, like, I think the reason why I'm really not interested in playing the game is because I don't have heat, bro. <laughs> That's why I hadn't really been like, fucking with this shit, bro. I'm so, about fucking heat and shit. so Wednesday, that's when you're gonna start playing it. You said what? Wednesday is when you're gonna start playing it. You said when am I gonna start playing it? Wednesday. Yeah, I will probably start playing it Wednesday. Right. Yes, that will probably. Be What time? Um, damn, man, that is a good ass question. Uh, it'll probably be. fucking morning <laughs> or like in the fucking evening I don't know I don't really know alright well whenever Damn, tell me whenever but trust me whenever I'm on you going whenever I'm on heat you gonna know cause this account gonna be online and you gonna be playing the fuck out this shit cause I ain't gonna get off <laughs> I am not gonna get off this shit dude let's say I get I say I open up my a present on Christmas and it's heat. I'm gonna plug that bitch in. I'm gonna let that shit install and all that shit. I'm gonna be on that shit all day. Yo, all you gotta do is just put the disc in, then put your PS4 in the rest mode and leave it. 
that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Mercedes Benz is making like this fucking six by six pickup truck with carbon fiber armor on it. What? Yeah, dude. This shit looks fucking crazy looking. I actually like how this shit looks too. This shit looks fucking cool. I wonder if I can send you this picture. Fuck, I can't see. Oh, I can. Oh, fuck. Is Mercedes Benz X Class EXY Monster X 6x6 concept. By Mike something something. Oh, this was in 2018. This was last year. Oh shit, damn, that was last year, so. Whenever this shit drops, bro. If it drops. Whatever the fuck. It's gonna be really fucking cool looking. That's really fucking cool looking, bro. I like that. Yeah, you should look it up. Pick up the Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. X class EXY monster X. Holy crap! Did you look it up? Yeah. It looks fucking cool, right? Yeah, it's insane. That it's shit so looks fucking crazy, dude. Like, <laughs> fucking yo, yeah, that's badass, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. That thing probably sounds fucking ridiculous. But I like that. I like that concept. Yeah. I like that though. That's soup that's super dope. I would definitely, you know, save up money and, and buy that. How much is it? There ain't no telling how much that truck's gonna cost. <laughs> but it's gonna probably be a lot. But I definitely would think that'd be badass. Badass as fuck. Talk about a fucking off-road truck right there. I live in the city, so I'm not gonna fucking... Well, I could go to the country and do like off-road and shit in that truck, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. It looks too fucking, it looks too fucking nice for that. This truck... It's too nice for you to be driving them mud and shit in. <laughs> if you're gonna do that, you might as well buy two of them and then one of them you could do, you could do all that shit in. But me, I might just be driving around in that motherfucker. Like, cause it just looks badass. Like, it looks fucking crazy, dude. Like, I like how they fucking. I like how they did that. Like, if this is what it's gonna look like in real life. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. That is that is absolutely ridiculous. Where's the fucking gas tank for this thing? <laughs> is it on the right side or the left side? And if it's right there in between the tires where I'm looking, that's the fu that's fucking nuts. Like, and then what kind of gas do you put in that? I put them. Fuck, man. Then I'd be. Nah, man. They gotta do unleaded for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They gotta fucking make it like a little mixture or something. Where you could do diesel and like unleaded or some shit. That'd be crazy as fuck. But like. That's dope as a motherfucker, dude. Like. Bruh. That's. But I fucks with this. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you, bro. I don't like Mercedes like that, but I fucks with this truck, bro. I would definitely buy that. 
If I was a millionaire, I'd be giving the money for that right now. <laughs> like, yo, just put me down for one of them motherfuckers. Maybe I'll finish that thing up and it's ready to go. Here's y'all's payment in advance. Send the, it to me. So the first order. Me. Hell yeah. Fuck yes. Yeah, man, I'm making dumb videos on that motherfucker too. <laughs> Hey, I'm definitely drowning in my face. But yeah, man, that's gonna be fun. That's a bad man, that's a badass truck, dude. I I would not have ever liked it. I would not have ever imagined that. Yeah. That's a badass. That's a badass one. It's like a new truck, bro. For sure. I'm super interested. I need to talk to Mercedes and tell them to send me that truck. <laughs> um, like, can you give me this truck for free, please? Say what? Uh, you were just gonna call them and say if you could give them that truck for free. Uh, no, I was like, hey man, uh, it might take me forever to pay this off, but <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely. Then 60 years later, they never get the payment. I downloaded a seed on my brother's account. Ah, uh, did you? Yeah. It took two days, but it was worth it. That's crazy. She's just fucking it's addicting, bro. When she get into it. <laughs> Have you played it yet? Mm, I played it before, but I just oh my bad. I'm 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 okay. I have my good and my bad games in that game. Yeah, there's this picture <laughs> of this older lady or whatever, and it says, would you punch this old lady for $14 billion? <laughs> and one of my homegirls was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I would knock that woman out for <laughs> And then I'd give her like, I'd give her like five mil, just so she'd be alright. <laughs> She'll be alright. Five mil, you'd be alright. 
It's funny when I see the and those little pictures or whatever. I've seen the one that like, w would you um, would you murder this puppy for like fifty billion dollars? Nah, I'm not doing that though. I'm not doing that. And I saw not this comment that. where it was like this dude. He said that he would cut it into pieces and eat it. Yeah, that's that's. That's just, you know, nah, bro, I'm good. That, that's on something else right there. That's something else. But then I'll see other stuff like, would you drop this iPhone 11 for just another iPhone 11? Then... It would, it would just make no sense to me. Nah, I'm not, not with that one, brother. I didn't have an idea. Oh, my ear. I'm so kind of tired. Yeah, I just saw this video of this kid like getting beat up on his bus by these dudes and this girl, bro. Dang. Like, what the fuck is this? Another reason why I'm glad I ain't got kids. <laughs> I'm my kid being on the bus and that shit happen. You know, somebody gonna be mad because somebody kid gonna get their ass beat. Oh, I'm gonna get the brakes off somebody kid, yeah, but. Have you seen the video with this kid? He was getting jumped in a uh, in a bathroom, like a, in like a school bathroom. He was getting jumped. Mm -mm. I didn't see that. Oh, uh, because at first it was just like one dude that was fighting, but there's like a whole bunch of people in there. And there's just one dude fighting at first, but then other some other dudes jumped in. And yeah. Especially if they're like, if they're having their little one on one, let them have their one on one. You gotta jump in. Yeah. Just let it happen. So, and then when you start jumping motherfuckers, that's how people end up getting killed and all type of shit, you know? Yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool on that one. Because I've told like all of my friends that if you ever want to jump somebody, you just know that I ain't gonna be there to stop it. Cause I'd rather you beat up somebody on a fair one, one on one than you put a kid in the hospital for jumping them. I'd rather have that happen. Three sixty three. I just need a little forty three. I get jumped. 
I'm gonna get my revenge, but it'll be alright. Too much. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be really mad. Oh well, I think I'm gonna hop off.